One of my favorite things about Donald Trump and his lawyers is that they really aren't good <laughs> at breaking the law or defending Donald Trump from breaking the law. Cause the guy just, I know he went decades without getting caught, but now it kind of seems like he's just getting caught for everything. Right. And his lawyers, as bad as they are, always seem to think, oh, we can get you out of it, buddy. And then of course, everything comes crashing down around them. That is what we saw this week in the Bronx when Donald Trump's lawyers had to basically issue an emergency settlement to a group of protesters who seven years ago were protesting outside of Trump tower. Trump's personal security guards came out, roughed up the protesters and they sued. Again, this incident happened seven years ago and we just now got a resolution to it this week. So everybody I'm sure is familiar with that story. If not, of course, I just recapped it. Protesters were out there. Trump was running for president at the time. He sends his security guards down. They, uh, basically assault these protesters and, uh, it's kind of assumed that Donald Trump, of course, ordered them to do this. So they get sued. They're in court. They narrow the jury pool down this week. And that's when Trump's lawyers had an epiphany. They realized after talking to these prospective uh, jurors that they all seemed to hate Donald Trump. So jury gets sent away for lunch. Trump's lawyers huddle together and they're like, we're effed. Like we're effed with a capital F here, guys. There is no way we're going to win this case. All of these jurors hate us because we work for Trump who they hate even more than they hate us. What do we do? That's when they decided, you know what? Screw it. We're going to offer them a settlement, a pretty big settlement. We'll see if they'll take it. So we don't have to face those jurors because we know we ain't going to win. So they came up real quick with a settlement offer passed it over to those plaintiffs who immediately accepted it. Like immediately without hesitation. We're like, yep, done. And the case is over. So Trump's lawyers do not have to face those mean old jurors who just seem to hate Donald Trump with a fiery passion, a passion shared, believe it or not, by a majority of people in this country. But here's what gets me about this. This is the stupid part. What did you think was going to happen? You're in a very blue area, a very blue area that by the way, is known to handsomely reward injured persons, like ruling against corporations and wealthy people in favor of little people. They, they have a very big history of that there in the Bronx. What did, what did you think you were going to do? You thought you were just going to waltz in and be like, yeah, these guys didn't fight these guys. They did. Oh, maybe the jurors are going to be lovers of Donald Trump. No, very blue area, very blue collar area. Not exactly friendly to, to the ultra wealthy who pick on little people. So you walked in, realized, oh no, we we didn't do very good vetting on these potential jurors. We'd better offer these people an ungodly amount of money to make this go away. As it stands right now, of course, we do not know the amount that these individuals got, but as I said, they didn't hesitate to accept it. So I'm willing to bet these people got handsomely paid and they deserve it. And I'm happy for them. And I hope Trump and his entire legal team learned a very valuable lesson there. And it's a lesson that they're going to learn the hard way, of course, in that other trial in Manhattan that is currently on hold. It's supposed to resume on Monday, but the lawyers there had the same problem. While they were able to dismiss a lot of jurors who clearly expressed their hatred for Donald Trump, they couldn't dismiss all of them. So they're in the same boat, except those prosecutors there are not going to accept a settlement offer. They're out for blood. And those lawyers are going to find that out the hard way. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button 
and help Aspen oh. not be so grumpy. <laughs>